One of the questions I get a lot with suction cups is, okay, I understand why they stick to a table, but I don't understand how they can stick sideways or upside down on a ceiling because air pressure is pushing down. Well, most people don't think about how gases actually operate. Let's take a look at that. So I've got a beaker here with a metal cube. I put the metal cube inside the beaker and the metal cube is pushing down. It's exerting force on the beaker. Here's a liquid. This liquid is pushing down on the beaker. It's exerting a force, but it's also exerting pressure outward and it's pressing on the walls of the beaker. Now we consider a gas. There is gas in here, there's air in here, and it's exerting pressure on the sides. Gas particles are in constant motion. There's trillions of gas collisions every single second. Every molecule of gas is bouncing around like mad. It bounces sideways, it bounces up, it bounces down. I put a cap on it, that doesn't change anything. There's still air and air pressure in here, pushing on the sides, pushing up, pushing down. So there's just as much gas pressure on the roof of this cork as there is on the bottom of the flask. So gas is pushing all directions. It has no problem holding a suction cup to the wall. If you want to learn more about suction cups, take a look at my previous videos. And more importantly, have a good day.